there's very few uh, companies in the world that produce systems like this. We believe that the systems that we put together are the best on the market. We think it's uh, world class when it comes to, to safety and quality. In the design phase, we don't cut the corners. We custom design the container to the uh, customer's needs and build them in-house at our Redford facility. There's a number of, of layers of safety that we employ in the system. The system has onboard fire suppression system, uh, carbon dioxide and fire sprinklers. Uh, we also monitor hydrocarbons. We also include the explosion relief panels in the dyno cell area. There's a scavenger system uh, that pre-purges the room prior to putting power into the room. One of the features that's available is a combustion air system that will control the temperature of the air as well as the humidity of the air. The rear uh, mechanical room where the uh, main electrical enclosure and the drive panel reside also has its own dedicated uh, HVAC system. The particular cell that we're in now uh, has the deep thermal shock feature which uh, allows the customer to cold soak the engine to minus 35 degrees F. Uh, with the cart mounted system, uh, you minimize the cell setup time. Uh, the engine can be prepped outside the cell. All the dress that you need to do to an engine to run it in the dyno can be done outside the container while you're running an engine. It's just a matter of some quick disconnects, roll the cart out of the cell, roll in the new engine, and make the connections. The, the cart locks into place with a pneumatic locking system. It's part of the bed plate assembly. Vibration isolators maintain the bed plate in a, in a level plane. Commonly, we use the uh, FEV servo craft throttle control to control throttle position. One of the uh, FEV standard components is a blow-by meter that we've integrated here. Uh, we use the Morphe data acquisition and control system. Morphe is a highly flexible automation simulation and calibration platform, primarily used for automotive powertrain test applications, but is flexible and could be used for a variety of tests and simulation exercises. Morphe is uh, at just about 30 years of existence. There are 10,000 users worldwide, and this accumulates to a total of about 12 million operating hours per year. The flexibility is the biggest positive uh, we hear. The reliability, these systems can run around the clock. The nice thing about Morphe is it can be used the same user environment, you know, whether you're in a simulation phase or if you're in a physical testing phase. And then if you're using a specific FEV product, such as a FEV cool conditioning unit, an FEV air conditioning unit, FEV fuel and measurement conditioning unit, um, we have drivers in our library that are plug and play essentially. And this is what we use to not only control the facility, uh, meaning the container, but also to, to uh, control the dyno motor and uh, communicate with the engine control module. These systems are designed so that uh, there's not a lot of site preparation required. We can put them in place, get them powered up and running in a matter of about two to three weeks. Quick to deploy. Uh, up and running in a very short period of time. Uh, short commissioning time because all subsystems have been proven out previously. All logic has been proven out previously. Uh, so it's just a matter of turning it back on and running it again at the customer facility. As a flexible product, we're a flexible company. So if you're retooling an existing machine, and you, you know we're able to retool a machine. If you want a machine from the ground up, that's gonna be your best solution. So a lot of experience, a lot of lessons learned go into these designs. And, uh, and with that, we also have younger members of the crew uh, that challenge those of us that have been in the business for a while with new ideas and, and innovation and uh, applying new technologies.